Hey Aquarius, this read is for you guys. So let's let's jump on into it and see what the universe has has in store for you. All right, universe, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Do you have any any insight, any guidance? Nope. <laughs> I guess so. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I got the balance card there. I have the heart chakra, which speaks to uh, it speaks to relationships. It speaks to healing. I have trapped in fear. I have new beginnings. And I have prosperity begins. So I'm already feeling like this speaks to a romantic relationship. Um, and possibly dealing with them. Um, Dealing with insecurities that might hold this relationship back um, from being successful. Maybe maybe some healing that has to be done from some old wounds from previous relationships. Um, I have the base chakra, which tends to speak to the physical body um, or money. Uh, I have stand your ground. I have intuition. I have emotional loss. And I have partnerships and alliances. Yeah, so to me, this is speaking of healing old wounds. Um, I believe that the partnership and alliances speaks to speaks to this new this new beginning, and I think it's a relationship. Um, the prosperity begins card too. To me, to me in this read, it speaks of it speaks of this new relationship and allowing it to prosper. You can see the the two hands there. That's what's really jumping out at me. Um, for that card in this read. And I think the emotional loss might tie in with the trapped in fear. Um, and that might tie into to some of your insecurities um, that the relationship won't work, um, that you're going to be you're going to be alone. And if you let that stuff eat you up, that will that will actually drive the end result of your relationship. So it's very important to to be able to find a balance there in your emotions and not let your insecurities get the best of you. So I've got the inner the eight of swords, and it speaks to sort of um, an inner struggle. Of being able to to see the truth in the situation, to see um, see clarity in it, and being stuck in stuck in emotions, and I think that also speaks to to this trapped in fear and emotional loss, the the fear of of being alone, the fear of it not working out, um, possibly having some negative um, self messages in your head. Say I'm not, you know, you're thinking. I'm not good enough, I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm, you know, and it sort of just spirals. Um, in this, um, I have the Knight of Swords and he speaks, he speaks to me in this of finding inner truths within, within yourself and, and conquering those negative thoughts because those negative thoughts are not true. They're not. So I think this speaks of, of being able to find that truth of, yes, you're smart. Yes, you're capable. Yes, you're worth it. Yes, you're worth being loved. And and I think, I just, I see triumph in him when I look at this. And I feel like once you can conquer those insecurities and make those realizations about yourself, you're going to be a hell of a lot stronger for it. I have the Queen of Cups and to me in this, she speaks of, of um, em emotional peace, an inner peace. Um, once you get rid of those those nasty thoughts, those nasty emotions, um, those nasty things that you think about yourself that are not true. And I think it's going to open you up to, to this new relationship. Um, and you're going to find, you're going to find a lot of happiness and you're going to find, I think, a reason to celebrate. So I think this, this relationship can be extremely positive for you. I'm going to keep going here.
So I got the lover's card, which definitely to me um, reiterates that we are talking about a romantic relationship. Um, I have the two of wands, uh, which can speak of either a partnership or um, or a decision that has to be made. Um, picking picking a path, choosing a path. And I think in this, it speaks of choosing a path. Um, it speaks of either choosing to stay in those those darker thoughts or choosing to change your way of thinking um, and the behaviors that tend to go along with that and and really believing in yourself um, I have the strength card too which I think speaks of of the inner strength that it's going to take to be able to do that because it's not easy to change our mindset once we believe a certain thing about ourselves um, but I also believe you're going to be growing your inner strength from this as well. I think you'll be growing stronger um, emotionally too from all of this. Once you realize all of that is just, all of that is a bunch of lies. And that you really are worth it. Um, once you can really see the good in yourself. Um, I have the justice card, which to me speaks of balance um, as well. And being able to balance your emotions and your thoughts. And I got the Ace of Cups, which also speaks of, of beginning a new relationship. Um, I got the Three of Swords. Um, I got him next to the Hanging Man. And I show you these two cards. Um, so the Hanging Man tends to speak of your own hang-ups being hung up on, on a negative way of thinking, on, on negative emotions, and... Um, the chains are quite loose on his ankle and so he can get out um and i and i believe that's what it speaks to is that it's a choice for you that you do have the choice to be able to change and to free yourself from that um and i think the separation card speaks of you separating yourself um, from those negative emotions and allowing this this new relationship uh to prosper and allowing that happiness into your life So I got, I got the Queen of Swords, and to me, in this reading, um, she speaks of you conquering those inner truths. That's what I see in her in this reading. Um, I have the Knight of Pentacles, which speaks of something that you worked towards for a while, coming to fruition. So, I think it's not going to be an overnight process. I think it's going to take, it's going to take a bit of time to conquer it, um, but because the Knight of Pentacles stands for whatever this thing is that you've been working for coming to fruition, I think there is, I think that's your light at the end of the tunnel that yes, you will come out the other side of this and yes, you will get what you need out of this situation and, and I think what you want as well. Um, I have the, the Eight of Pentacles, which speaks of, it's usually the apprenticeship card, but I think it speaks of you, um, learning a new way of being, learning a new pattern of thought. Um, the Three of Pentacles, which is also you're starting to see the payoff of, of what you've been working for, for so long. So I have the Ten of Wands, which can sometimes speak to, um, Feeling overwhelmed, uh, overburdened, um, I wonder if that doesn't speak to um, some of the negative self-thought in here, the I just can't do it, I just can't um, kind of thought. Um, and I think it's, I think in this it's, I, I don't want to call it a warning, I think it's more the encouragement of saying, yes, you can, yes, you are capable, keep going. I have the Six of Pentacles, which speaks of, of balance, but it also speaks of, um, of abundance as well. And to me, in this read, um, it speaks of, of an emotional abundance that you will get from doing this work. 
I have the Ace of Swords, which stands for Triumph, and I got it next to, to the Eight of Cups. And you can see the Cups usually stands for emotion. You can see all the cups are sort of left behind as this person starts on a new bright journey. So I think that represents you being able to leave um, these negative habits and thoughts and tendencies behind and being able to move forward to a bright future in this relationship. I got the Ace of Pentacles, which also speaks speaks of new beginnings. Uh, I got the Seven of Cups here, and it tends to um, speak towards choice and choosing wisely. And I think that reflects, I think that reflects the Hanging Man, and that you do have a choice in this. You do have a choice to, to recognize those thoughts, those tendencies, to be aware of them, and then choose to leave them behind, and choose to start thinking in a positive way. That's what that speaks to me of. Uh, the Nine of Wands speaks of of working towards a goal over time, um, probably feeling pretty, pretty tired with it, um, but you are reaching, you are working towards that goal and you will reach your end. So I think that's also encouragement to keep going even when it gets tough and even if you find yourself starting to slip back into some of those old habits, to sort of catch yourself and just keep, keep working, keep doing the forward progress there. Um, I feel like that's going to work out for you best in the end. And as I said, I got the positive movement forward card. So again, I think that's that's your encouragement to keep moving forward with this, this transformation. Uh, to have patience with yourself because life isn't success only. Sometimes we have little slips here and there, but to keep working at it. Because there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So I think, that's, um, I think that sums up that read pretty good. Um, definitely um definitely keep working at it um like i said it's something you actively have to think think about and do every single day um but as far as i can see from the cards you are you are more than capable of doing it and it looks like you have a bright future and a bright outcome and i think you're gonna i think you're gonna see that in this new relationship you'll start to see the rewards as you're changing your behaviors you're changing your habits you'll see you'll see the positive payoffs of it Alrighty guys, I hope that was helpful and I hope it resonated with you. Feel free to like, to leave a comment, um, or even subscribe and, and join the, the Tarot Harmony family because we would love to have you guys. Alrighty, take care.